And tonight there's concern growing after a swarm of bees injures two people, kills a dog and attacks another five dogs. News for Tucson's Megan Spector joins us live from the east side. And Megan, are bee attacks something to be concerned about this time of year? Well, Sean, Monica, some experts say that this is something to be concerned about. I spoke with the Air Southern Arizona Beekeepers Association and their vice president tells me that these attacks are unfortunately pretty common and she says it's crucial to know what to do if you find yourself in one of these scary situations. Now she says that this year because we had such a great spring we had a substantial increase in our feral bee population and she tells me she's been doing live bee removals almost every night and one to four times a day for about three months straight. These attacks are not new and not something you need to be fearful of, but they are something you need to be aware of. These are Africanized hybrid genetics. Doesn't mean that they are all defensive, but it means that they're unpredictable and that could cause a huge issue in the future. The recent community concern stems from a social media post in which a Tucson mayor shared the horrible story of the death of his dog, which you can see on your screen right now, when he said that tens of thousands of bees attacked the poor animal. Now we're here right now at the house where this bee attack happened. I spoke with the owners of that dog who did pass away. I'll tell you all about this horrible story that he shared and how you can protect yourself coming up at 10. But for now, live on the east side, Megan Spector, News 4. Tucson.